With Terraria having so many Halloween and horror themed weapons, I figured now would be the perfect time to take a look at some of the more interesting and unique ones. These on the most part can pack quite the punch too, but as I wanted this list to focus on the unique attributes of these weapons and not the raw performance, the selection is in no particular order, and are just 5 spooky themed weapons you should totally try out. Before we jump into it however, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy watching my content. It helps the channel out, it means you can be part of the journey to the big 100k milestone. Anyway, without further ado, let's jump into the list. Starting with the Stake Launcher, a ranged weapon found in the Pumpkin Moon event. In short, this post Pontera repeater is an absolute beast, destroying pretty much anything that gets in its way. Similar to the Candy Corn Rifle, it also fires unique ammunition, which in this case is a stake. These actually have an extraordinary damage boost against vampires, which with the right setup can theoretically deal up to 26,000 damage in one shot. Pretty cool stuff. In general use, it's really easy to control too, thanks to having such a high projectile velocity and fire rate. And despite receiving a slight nerf in the 1.4.1 update, its multi-enemy performance is almost unmatched, being able to pierce through 9 enemies in a line like butter. So for you rangers looking for a powerful bow-like weapon to farm some events with, the stake launcher should not be missed. Next up we have the Dark Harvest, a whip that can drop from the Pump King. As someone who very rarely plays Summoner, this is the first time I've properly checked out this weapon, and I have to say, the buffs it's received in 1.4.4 has made it insanely good. As many of you know, whips in Terraria are more of a support type weapon for the summoner class, which assists your minions in dealing as much damage as possible. However, the Dark Harvest does have a few tricks up its sleeve, applying a dark energy aura to targets it strikes. Every time a minion attacks an enemy, the dark aura flares out and damages nearby enemies. This makes it perfect for events like the Frost Moon, as you can focus on killing mini bosses while the dark energy explosions handle the rest. Next up we have the Jacko Lantern Launcher, another drop from the Pumpkin. This thing's pretty self-explanatory. It's a launcher that fires explosive jack-o'-lanterns. What makes this launcher so unique compared to other options is the bounciness of the projectiles. I guess it could be considered a replacement to the grenade launcher though, as the arc and fire rate of the projectiles are very similar. I found this weapon to be great for carpet bombing large groups, as the explosives dealt high damage in a wide AoE. However, even with this in mind, it's also surprisingly effective on bosses. It was actually able to take Gollum down for example at similar speeds compared to other bullet ranged weapons. Quite impressive considering all its other perks. I usually give launchers a hard miss, but the Jack O' Lantern launcher is genuinely worth trying. Next up we have something a little different, the Bloody Machete. Now, while this isn't going to be breaking any damage records anytime soon, this is one of the very few weapons that are seasonal exclusive. Even though at the time of releasing this video the Halloween event is over, you can trigger this manually by reaching the end of the Pumpkin Moon. If you are lucky enough to get your hands on it in early pre-hard mode, which is unlikely because it has a 1 in 2000 drop rate, you'll actually find yourself with a pretty sweet boomerang weapon that deals impressive damage for being obtainable pre-boss. But for most players, this is just going to be a collector's item to pick up during Halloween, as the chances of getting it organically are very slim. And finally, we're going to be looking at the Toxic Flask, a Dr. Man fly drop from a solar eclipse. This is truly a one-of-a-kind weapon, which actually received an overhaul in the 1.4.4 update. It sort of acts like a trap, leaving a toxic cloud of gas wherever the flask is thrown. This cloud acts similar to that of the Inferno Fork, dealing a majority of its damage long after being fired. This makes it fantastic in the Old One's army, as the waves of enemies will constantly walk in one direction. The only major downside I see to using this weapon is its absurdly high mana cost and having one of the most annoying sound effects in all of Terraria. I mean seriously, what is that even meant to be? Overall, this is a fun unique weapon that definitely has its uses. I just wouldn't recommend running it as your main weapon anytime soon. And with this, that's all the spooky weapons I wanted to talk about today. I hope this video gave you a few weapons to try out in your next playthrough, as despite their quirks, they can deliver some serious damage if used in the right place. Thanks for watching. For more Terraria content like this, drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.